Let's listen to what Sandeep Dikshit has to say. It's a big day for the candidates today, for the parties today, as they await the results of the nine-phased elections in India. Let's now go across to Sandeep Dikshit. He is a contestant from East Delhi. He was the sitting MP. Sandeep, you seem fairly relaxed this morning. You're playing with your dogs. Mm. But uh, what are your expectations? Two, two levels. Uh, in my constituency, I'm not uh, very hopeful. Though, I mean, uh, one always uh, prays and hopes that uh, the hard work of my Congress workers will come fruit and we'll win. But I don't think uh, we have too much of a chance in East Delhi. As far as the rest of India is concerned, I'm very hopeful. You're already conceding defeat. It's not defeat. It's, uh, it's an acknowledgement of reality. So, you know, it's like uh, when you know you haven't done a paper well. So you don't expect uh, to top the paper. It's like that. Uh, although 10 years we've done tremendous work. And I'll be very happy about one thing that, come what may, uh, East Delhi will remember the fact that Congress in these 10 years transformed East Delhi into one of perhaps, uh, uh, you know, India's best areas to live in. And I think if you chart out constituencies in last 10 years, East Delhi would probably rank amongst the best in India. And I think I'm proud of that because I may have played a small role in it. So in that sense, I'm very proud of the fact that uh, uh, we, we did quite well in the responsibilities given to us. But uh, I have a feeling that perhaps they are hoping for something uh, different this time, maybe a change, maybe, maybe they want somebody else, maybe they found me personally to be inadequate to be an MP and, and therefore perhaps I voted separately. You get this information, you see when people come to you across areas, especially after the 10th, a lot of people from East Delhi came to me and uh, in fact spoke about how nice they felt about East Delhi but did say that uh, uh, you know I should be wary because there will be change. So you know you get an idea from people, people do speak out, workers do tell you the truth and you actually do get pulse of people. So, what do you want to change from here on? Since you're already saying that maybe people want a change in your constituency, are you going to work for the next five years to rebuild that trust and confidence? Obviously, obviously. I mean, if we, if we play the role of an opposition in this area, then our work will be to uh, see and ensure that uh, what the Congress stands for and what we stand for, uh, those are never changed. Whoever is a representative. Politics is a long-term issue. It's not just winning or losing. And uh, I have... Uh, uh, a relationship with East Delhi. Uh, I mean, I can never ever, uh, you know, uh, um, pay back what they've given me for 10 years. They've given me great respect, great responsibility. And for all my life, I'm in debt for to this constituency. So it will be my endeavor that uh, whether I have the power of a member of parliament to work for them or not, I think I'll continue my, my endeavor to be with them. Uh, if they, another chance comes, I'll be grateful for that and work accordingly. If chance comes as a, a member of the opposition, then I'll try my best to see that uh, government always works for the people and wherever there is an issue of the people, I'm standing with them. And nationally, what are you expecting for your party? Nationally, much better than what exit polls are showing. That's what my personal hope is because I think uh, we should do fairly well. Uh, I don't think the situation is as bad as uh, some of the polls are showing, but let's see. Uh, with that, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Sandeep Dikshit, many thanks for speaking with Headlines Today. With camera person Manoj Sangwan, this is Maha Siddiqui in Delhi for Headlines Today. A very candid Sandeep Dikshit there, accepting defeat, accepting the fact that the party will not do well uh, in East Delhi. And that's not something we see very often where a candidate, even before counting has begun, admits that he's losing.